and 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 what is it yeah and this is a ring so that this is what you see in the diagrams that this circle of villas now i will draw it and you have to rapidly say it loudly what are these what are these what are these what are these what are posterior and what are these is it clear no problem now what is the advantage of this ring the advantage of this ring is of course these are metal therapy uh, the advantage of this ring is that first of all posterior communicating artery is a connection between the anterior circulation and posterior circulation right for example if due to some reason posterior circulation is blocked normally uh, blood from anterior posterior circulation is up to here and blood from anterior circulation is coming up to here so blood is meeting really in the which artery posterior, posterior communicating but let's suppose if uh, this artery is blocked then blood from this side will come and feed in this area right in the same way blood from the left carotid system and right carotid system they meet over here but if blood supply here is less suppose this artery is somewhat under perfused less then blood can't move from here and then go here so advantage of the circle of villus is it is a very unique type of collateral supply system that if one point has less blood supply than other from other side blood will come and meet the demand of the body or compensate is that really clear uh, and one thing which is worth mentioning that anterior cerebral anterior communicating artery is the most common site for the berry aneurysms you know what are aneurysms abnormal dilatation of some part of arteries they are called aneurysms right uh, actually about 60% of aneurysms uh, the, uh, most of the aneurysms in the central nervous system vessel is in the circle of villus and within the circle of villus berry aneurysms are most common in where anterior communicating artery or its junction with anterior cerebral here or its junction with the anterior why because aneurysm which is present here it may compress the optic chiasma right or for example if aneurysm is present here right it or here it will compress the third cranial nerve you are understanding so you should know exactly where this ring is present and what are the structures there now i will make ring in the air and let's see what you can recognize it what are these two arteries coming internal carotid is that right and what are these branches anterior middle and these anterior connected with anterior communicating right and from this what are backward posterior, posterior communicating and what are these vertebral basilar posterior cerebral and posterior communicating were meeting that that is so simple is that right okay circle of villas now we come to that what are the areas in cerebral hemispheres which are supplied by anterior cerebral artery and then middle cerebral artery and posterior cerebral artery first i will show you the suprolateral surface of hemisphere right cerebral hemisphere i mean okay this is your cerebral i hope you recognize this structure something like this there is central sulcus and the precentral postcentral and gyri there's no fun in telling these things right now we have to see the blood supply over here right that how the blood supply reach to this cerebral hemisphere so we have to talk about suprolateral area plus we have to talk about yes medial area of course here is your friend what is it corpus callosum right now circle of villus is somewhere here okay i will remove your friend here what was this internal carotid is that right internal carotid these are anterior cerebral anterior communicating yes 
Australia cerebral. You know exactly where the situation is? Now, anterior cerebral moves anteriorly upward and then backward over this. Over what? Over corpus? Callosum. And anterior cerebral, okay, I'll make it a color different. I will make it blue. Anterior cerebral moves forward, then upward, and then moves backward and arches over the, what is the structure? Carpus callosum. Right? Now here it is giving branches, of course, under surface of frontal lobe. It is giving cortical branches to the frontal lobe. Now these branches go upward. It is the medial surface of the frontal, medial surface of the parietal lobe. Is that right? These branches are long enough that at the top they turn on the other side. They turn like this. What does it mean? That on the medial side of cerebral hemisphere within the cerebral intercerebral longitudinal fissure, you find the anterior cerebral artery is running forward, then upward, then backward. Is that right? And giving cortical branches, right? To the medial surface of the frontal lobe and parietal lobe, as well as branches are long enough to supply the upper part of what is this? Frontal lobe and parietal lobe. It means if you really look here, then its branches are coming here like this. Am I clear? Okay, I'll remove these structures in detail so that it become more clear. What are these are the branches from? Anterior cerebral artery. Is that right? Now, when we talk about middle cerebral artery, you know middle cerebral artery is moving from here laterally and from there also laterally. We want to see exactly where it is. Now I will take this structure here and look. This is frontal lobe and this is temporal lobe. I will separate them. You may be thinking why. Do you understand this diagram? That what I have shown here, look, this was frontal lobe and this was temporal lobe. Actually, they are folded on, it is downward and it is upward together. I have opened it like this. Is that clear? Actually, if you really want to know where circle of villas, this is suppose like this, this hemisphere. Right? We have opened, taken the frontal lobe upward, temporal lobe downward. And where we look, circle of villus, it is here. Internal carotid artery, internal carotid artery. Yeah, what was going here? Interior, this was interior communicating and this was going posterior. From here, this is middle, what is this? Middle cerebral and for other lobe, other side. So middle cerebral artery, we can say, Middle cerebral artery moves laterally and what is this area? This is a stem of stem of the lateral sulcus. You know lateral sulcus or no concept? Yes. Yeah. This is the stem of lateral sulcus. Okay, let me show you. This is lateral sulcus. It has one anterior ramus, superior ramus and 